Hey, welcome to uh, the first video of the world's worst raid. Uh, this is all in process to upgrade my server. My server right now is at 64 Terra. Uh, it needs to go to 160 Terra. Why 160 Terra? Well, we're putting a lot of SSDs in these systems. Uh, a 24 uh, terabyte SSD RAID and a 16 terabyte SSD RAID, that needs to be backed up. Plus there's a 32 terabyte photo album, plus we're now shooting at much higher bit rates on big camera. This is the D500 though, so uh, don't, don't do, get too concerned there. But um, let me give you a quick tour of what we're going to be doing, and then we'll get right into the shittiest RAID review of all time. So this is the RAID as it stands right now. It's a... Uh, 64 terabyte Synology uh, running Western Digital Red Drives. Uh, we're going to keep the Western Digital Red Drives and keep going forward. Um, then there's a power controller, a PoE bid plane, and a big S switch. So let's get on to the uh, review of the world's shittiest raid. So today I'm going to build a raid of another raid so I can back up a raid and then move the drives into another raid and then move these drives into that RAID, and then move new drives into this RAID, and then have a backup of everything, and data always in two places. Yeah. So this here is a TerraMaster D5-300. Uh, it's a USB-C uh, drive unit that'll hold five drives. I'm planning on sticking uh, eight terabyte uh, Western Digital Reds in here, just to start with. So unlike my Synologies, this is just going to be used as a... Uh, direct attached USB storage to back up uh, a large RAID that's currently at 64 terabytes, but only 40 terabytes are being used. So this will have plenty of room uh, to cover that. It's kind of cheap and lightweight, but it does have a USB-C and uh, it should get the job done. So let's take a look at getting some drives in there. So right off the bat, this is not toolless. So if you're looking for a toolless configuration, uh, look somewhere else. Even for uh, big hard drives, 3.5-inch uh, hard drives, you have to use screws. So, bummer. But hopefully I don't have to do this too many times. So this is definitely not enterprise class, but uh, for 240 bucks, I think it'll work just fine. Really? Screws? Screws, really? Screws in a toolless world, really? So, uh, it is quiet. Those fans in the back kind of scared me, but, uh, yeah, it seems to be working. Can it be that easy? Just insert the drives and then download their uh, proprietary software? I don't know. Let's find out. It seems to have worked and created its RAID 5. That was still pretty painless. Just hopped into disk management to do a format, and it looks like it's going to format. We'll uh, take a look. We got a whole lot of blinking lights, which is a good thing. And look at that. We got a format. First speed test is a uh, no bueno. Not very good. Let's try something else. So with larger blocks, we are getting much better read and write speeds, but we are getting a very long 1700 millisecond response time. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna keep an eye on it. I'm actually gonna run this. Uh, I'm gonna run this on a stress test for a while and uh, just make sure there's nothing wrong with the uh, enclosure or any of the drives before I go trusting data to it. So I was able to fail the RAID by pulling a volume while it was live, and then changing that volume for a different disk, and inserting it back in while under a write load, and uh, she's automatically rebuilding, which is exactly what you want in something simple that just has to work. So I'm going to keep uh, stressing it and rebuilding and uh, see if we get any other failures. Gives you a pretty good sense of what uh, it's doing via the lights. That's at least nice. Well, I really wanted that to be an easy video, but as it turns out, it's not. That RAID box cannot withstand anything higher than 40 to 45 megabytes per second. It's not a USB problem. I tried it on a USB 3.1 system as well, and still nothing. Um, it wasn't a rebuilding problem. I rebuilt the RAID a few times. I tried NTSF. I tried EXFAT. Um, it's, it's really inherent into the device and it's a problem with the device. So uh, that's a do not buy. I'll look for another solution and I'll keep you posted. Thanks. Sad Panda, so many hard drives without a home. Well, what do you know? Just as I was about to uh, finish this review, um, this came in the mail. Uh, this is a uh, SanDisk Tower Raid uh, 
T-R-U, <laughs> sorry, TR5UT plus B. Um, it's slightly older, but it is USB 3, and hopefully it will be a nice interim volume to have a local backup instead of the uh, online Amazon Glacier backup uh, available for that RAID in case I lose data locally. So um, I'll get this video up uh, just in about a day or two. It will not be long because I really got to get this RAID built. I've got a whole bunch of projects that are relying on getting the big Synology built. So stay tuned and until next time.